What's up everybody, this is Jay and this is Season 5, Episode 3 of Empire, Episode Pride. Thanks everybody for supporting my work at Patreon.com forward slash J Moore Reviews. And also everybody that supports my work at PayPal.com. I appreciate it, the links is in the description box below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, click that like button and let's get into it. Now, when the episode kicks off... Off, we see Hakeem and he's in like some type of dream state and uh, he's doing some type of rap and he's performing and the dude's kind of just like in and out of like consciousness and next thing you know he wakes up in the bed and uh, he kind of spooked and then he grabs the pen and pad and then he starts writing down the lyrics that came to him in the dream and then he hear Cookie calling him so he comes and she like boy get ready look at this and she like lions without pride and so she's snapping talking about the media is all over they broke and this and that he like well it's really dad fault he the one put us on blast and then Jamal like yeah yeah, uh, just sit down and calm down, Mom. And she like, yeah, that's right. I'm going to calm down because today is about season the day. Jamal's coming home. And then the phone rang. And all of a sudden, she like, oh, no. And it's bad news from Lucius. And so she like, what? And uh, you see uh, Hakeem and Jamal looking. And she like, oh, no. So what's going on? And so then they look. And she like, well, it's bad news, y'all. Andre ain't coming. And so then we see. Andre and he's sitting in the hole in the pen and some dude talking about you really messed up lion you came after me and you missed you thought you was so smart didn't you he like it's only a few days he like a lot can happen in a few days so we see Lucius and he's walking into the house and they like uh look it's bad news Andre ain't gonna be home for a while but there's no time to be sad. What we got to do is try to put this company together, get this artist, and get rolling. He was like, yeah, so our plan is that you all going to be our first two artists and you're going to be able to, we're going to be able to get you out of those contracts. And uh, Jamal like, well, I don't think we, they going to let us get out. And he like, no, Lucia's like, I got a plan right here where I can get you out the contracts. Look right here. And then uh, Hakeem like, well, we need to do whatever we can to do it. And he like, that's right. So now it's time to get to it. So meanwhile, we see at the prison, uh, Andre, um, he's getting a little message from little Debo wannabe. And so he's uh, telling Andre about how he messed up coming after him and he missed and how he thought he was so smart and so tough and how he going to take care of him. He said, uh, you know, you you think you all that. You, you ain't ready for what's going on. And then they show a flashback of when Andre get jumped while he was playing chess for uh, little shorty uh, baby nuts. He was looking scared. And uh, they got uh, Andre and the 211 hemmed up. And so dude like, yeah, what's up? Thought you was tough. What's going on? You been eyeballing me. What's the problem? Let me fix that. Then Andre throw a elbow, hit dude with a chicken wing, kick him in the kneecap. Then he grabbed dude by my little pony, grabbed my little pony. Then he just straight put him in a headlock, about to choke him out. Big my little pony, he ain't know what to do. And so Andre like, here's the deal, back off or he's gonna be dead. And so old boy start clapping and he like, Andre like, you hear me, you understand? You hear what I'm saying? And dude like, I understand. Then Andre like, all right, I'm going to let him go. And so Andre let do my little pony go with that long ass predator pony. And uh, he uh, walk off. And so uh, the guards, everybody break it up. And while dude walking away, he took the book from Baby Nuts. And then he smacked him in the back of the head, then threw it on the floor. And so Andre walk over and he pick up the book Baby Nuts was reading and give it to him. And uh, we see the book he was reading, The Wealth of Nations. And Andre is just sitting in the whole thinking about what's what happened meanwhile on the other side of town we see jamal and uh kai and they all getting dressed they doing little smooches and then kai get a phone call and uh it's one of his people talking about they want him to come do a job and so jamal a little jealous he talking about 
Um, I thought this was going to be a home place, a uh, home assignment. Why you got to run off to Legos? He like, it's okay. I'll be okay, Jamal. Don't worry about it. He like, uh, yeah, right. Just like uh, you going to be with old boy. He going to take care of you too. And so then Kai got a little salty. He was like, I'm going to get ready. And so he left. Meanwhile, we see uh, Cookie, and she's at home, and she's trying to talk her sisters and uh, Portia into working for her for free. And so they like, so we gonna work for you for free, and answer the phone and do all this. She like, yeah, cause this is about family, and this is gonna be built from the ground up. This gonna be better than Empire, and then we gonna have family, blood, sweat, and tears. They like, yeah, well, what about family on the back end? She like. Uh, yeah, of course, you know I'm gonna do that. And she like, all right, now I'm talking, now you talking. And then Porsche like, well, what about me? Cause I'm not lying or uh, your sister. So how's this gonna work for me? She like, well, I need you to run A and R. She like, well, can I be head of A and R? And Cookie like, well, I mean, ain't nobody else that's working here, so yeah. She like, hey, all right. And then Cookie like, see promotions. Her sister's like, I want titles too. And then she said, uh, how about you be recovering crack hole? How about that one? You be crack hole. And then the sister in the purple was looking a little salty. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Empire, we see uh, Becky come. Come in looking like a chewed up Starburst package with what she's wearing and a little kaleidoscope uh, reading rainbow and uh, you see old boy playing video games. He asked her, hey, she dropped off the contracts for the Lion Brothers and then she get a call from Lucius. He like, hey, um, I, Lucius, he tried to make a fool of me. I need somebody on my team. Are you next? He tried to leave. She like, well, I haven't had any serious offers lately, um, so I don't know. And so he like, well, look, Becky, I need you on my side. I need somebody I can trust. And I want that to be you. Is it okay? She like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here, Kingsley. And so then she was walking away. And then as she was leaving, here come the Lion Brothers. And so he like, all right, how's you guys doing? You want to play a game? He like, no, let's get down to business. Um, we need to get out of these contracts. And uh, we saw this in the clause. He like, ooh, you guys read the, the contracts. Nice. They like, yeah. Um, and it says right here that we are able to get out of the contracts. And he like, yeah. And about the uh, injury part. And so uh, he like, oh, okay. Well, in your case, you can go. Your, your value's in your back catalog. And you trying to help out your dad that's that's nice but it ain't worth it he's like my dad is making things right down the street he's like oh okay then jamal like um yeah so um what we're gonna do is be able to get out of this and and he like no you still owe me another album and it has to be new material and as far as the other brother he's all washed up and his album, his values, and his back catalog, he can't do anything anymore. So, as far as I'm concerned, he's free to go. And you can't go anywhere till you pay me to get another album. And then Hakeem mad. He like, what you say? And then he start coughing or whatever. He like, sit down, little man, for you news lose another lung. And that's sad when this little dude, Poindexter, is kind of checking uh, Hakeem. And so he, he tell him, sit down before he lose another lung. Hakeem, chill. Jamal like, no, chill. And so he like, and as far as you, you're not going anywhere. You still owe me music. And he like, well, you'll never get it. And he like, well, you'll never sing again. Because I, unless I get my album. And so uh, meanwhile, we see Lucius. And he's meeting with these investors. And he's showing them where he planned on having the new offices. And he's telling them about how he can guarantee a triple a return on the investment in three months they like well look lucius i don't know about that that sounds good but i don't think this is gonna be for us they like what do you mean he like uh well it's a good thing andre ain't here either he's a known felon so we can't associate with him he like what are you talking about you're a known felon he like oh is that right he like yes yeah, so 
you can dust yourself off and you can and make a change but we can't is that how it works he like lucius calm down you're taking it too far he like uh we're, he like are you in or out and they just walked off they like we're out and left lucius standing there uh looking stupid meanwhile on the other side of town we see lucius and now he's going to some law offices and he's going to see old thirsty old trusty cosby jr and so he come in with the smile hey how you doing and he like well hey how you doing what's going on then he like oh nothing much i'm just coming to see how you doing letting you know we putting the band back together again and he like oh is that right now he's like i thought you uh He's like, uh, yeah, I th- he's like, after all this time, I thought you was coming because you saw one of my ads. He's like, no, I ain't come for that. I saw a bum wrapped in one of those, though. He like, oh, is that right? You trying to diss? He like, so you ain't came and you ain't heard from you in over a year. And now, all of a sudden, you're trying to come and, uh, at me and want my client list to come help you and invest in? He like, uh, yeah, I mean... We trying to put the band back together again and me and Cookie would love to have you back on board. So are you down? And so then he kind of put his head down to the side and he say, man, that's something else, man. Ain't heard from you in over a year and you didn't put me to the side and now all of a sudden you want my client list. I'm back in though. And so meanwhile, we see Hakeem and Jamal and Hakeem he walk in with these new lyrics that he got, and he all ready to lay them down. And so Jamal, he listening, and Hakeem, he ready to flow. And so uh, he like, man, this is what I got. And he like, well, come on, let's hear it. And so they start smiling. And so uh, next thing you know, they get ready to go to work, start flowing. And so uh, next thing we see is uh andre and they show him shadow boxing in the pen he focused looking like uh you know what i'm saying he ready to fight the world and so uh then we see him and he thinking about when he was talking to uh young baby nuts and he was reading a book and then andre threw him a book he like man read this this is a good one about some number crunches cracker uncrunchable system he like oh, okay now that's fantasy right there he like hey man you a numbers guy stick to it he like yeah i know you you the cfo of empire you you this you that you doing good he like hey man don't worry about what you did don't let it change you like i didn't do nothing man i got uh this matching the wrong description he like you be all right man and so uh then andre he go back into the current time focusing on on beating the air meanwhile we see hakeem and he's flowing with jamal and uh you know jamal's starting to be happy he's you know looking at him go and he got the beat flowing and so hakeem he starts to rap and uh he's uh flowing but then uh you know right when he was in the middle of his flow and jamal was getting happy he started coughing and so uh he upset and jamal like just take a minute he like i did take a minute and so uh he all upset and uh jamal he's starting to get a little discouraged right now uh with hakeem's progress and meanwhile we see hakeem later and uh he's coughing still and he's uh writing and he's trying to put together something and then we see uh young tom hank's son walk in and uh he like man what's it like to be at home man do cookie and lucia send you to your room to eat dinner and stuff and so he trying to crack jokes hakeem like shut up man listen to this and so uh he started to do the little flow uh and then he throw the paper over to him and he like man check this out man he like man and so he started reading it and he like uh dude this right here man this is tight man what's up with this he like man you can have it if you want he like what i can have it he like yeah he like man i don't know what to say man i do your words justice bro i promise and so young hanky young hanky panky he didn't got the lyrics he, he got the dope lyrics so he all set meanwhile we see jamal and he back home and uh he's on the keyboard working on a song and then he gets a uh, ring-a-ding-ding on the computer and this little boo thing kai 
Cobra Kai. And so uh, he uh, like, hey, what's up? He like, hey, what's going on? And so Jamal tell him the stresses he got. And he like, you should have came with me uh, where I'm at. And he like, what? So that's what it's like? You're going to pretend like what I said didn't matter? That's what we're going to do now? And he like, what do you mean? It's not like that, Jamal. I, I'm not saying that. Um, I was just saying. And uh, that you could have came here with me. I didn't give up my career because you did. And he like, oh, is that right? He like, um, well, I'm just saying. And so uh, they start to have a little fight. And so uh, Jamal was like, really? That's how it's going to be? Bye, babe. And so he like, Jamal, I'm not saying that. And uh, next thing you know, Jamal just grabbed a little computer screen and closed it. And uh, made him talk to the hand. Meanwhile, we see Lucius, Lulu. He walk in. Where is he, man? Where is he? What? Get your hands off me, man. And he like, come here, Boy Scout. Where you at? And uh, he like, Lucius, what's going on? And he like, uh, who you think you are, man? What you think you doing? You trying to pull that spot out from under me? What you think you trying to do? Bigger and stronger people came for me. He like, no. Empire's expanding. I just needed more space. This isn't about that. I I didn't do that because of anything personal. It's just good business. It was a time when I was in school and the guy wanted to use my pencil and I told him no. And Lucius like, look, man, I'm gonna make sure that I come after you. Bigger and better people have came and failed, and you are no exception. When we come, we come for blood he like oh is that right me like yeah and uh lucius got up and he was about to leave and he like hey, okay lucius uh we'll see each other again and he walked off with his little booty on his back like he done did something meanwhile we see back at empire headquarters the house uh we see cookie and the sisters and they kind of arguing and uh she's asking uh cookie about is she gonna sell her condo that she had stashed away uh in case she had a rainy day between her, her and lucius and the sisters is talking about she should sell it and she shouldn't and uh cookie is like well this right here is for a rainy day and so I don't know, and then uh, the sister Vivica, like, I already had a cash deal, and then Lucius walk in, they like, uh, hey, Lucius, how you doing, and they like, uh, he like, uh, what is the witches of each wit wick talking about, they like, shut up, limpy, gimpy, what you talking about, he like, well, unfortunately, because she told him, shut up, gimpy, he like, what you talking about, he like, unfortunately, we didn't get the money that we thought we was going to get. So, I don't know. Maybe we should just do it right here. And they like, what? What you talking about? The studio here? And Cookie like, I don't know about right here. He like, uh, well, just think about it, babe. We started this. It's a family. We might as well just do it right here. And so Cookie get to thinking. And so she probably like, mm, okay. Meanwhile, we see Jamal. And he's sitting there with Hakeem. He like, look, man. I've been thinking about the way you flow, and I want you to try a few things. He like, man, so now you trying to tell me how to flow? I mean, what's going on, man? I can't do it. He like, no, nah, man, I just think the way you flow is making it harder for you to breathe because you got it in here, you know what I'm saying? And so you just got to let it out, and it's all in your mind. So what we could do is you could try this new way, and we'll see how it works. He's like, all right, man, let's see what we got. And so Jamal get over there, and he get the beat going or whatever. And so uh, he's like, all right, man, when you uh, do the song, say it like this. And so uh, then Hakeem start flowing the way Jamal had said. And so uh, he wasn't coughing. He like, see, see, I didn't hear no cough. And so uh, Hakeem starts smiling or whatever. He like, okay, okay. Meanwhile, we see back at the Lion's house, Portia putting together all the music and this stuff. Everybody decorating it like it's a studio. Got the plaques on board. They got the sound uh, bars on board. Lucius plat gold plaques. They all getting all happy. They feel like they've accomplished something now. 
Meanwhile, we see later on that evening, uh, we see that uh, they got a big group of investors there. And uh, Cookie and Lucius like, uh, hey, Thirsty, is this everybody you got? He like, man, this is my client list right here. And they like, who is that? Looking like Aunt Esther. And they like, eating all the shrimp. And they like, uh, oh, yeah, don't worry about her. She, she didn't slip and fall suing Queen. She got a few million dollars. And they like, oh, yeah. And they like, uh, what about No Neck Johnson? He like, oh, okay, yeah, he got money too. And then in walked Becky wearing her finest uh, tablecloth. And so uh, she like, am I too late for the hors d'oeuvres? And they like, oh, no, Becky, come on in. Good to see you. He like, yeah, make sure y'all save her a plate. And so uh, then they like, all right, everybody gather around. We got a uh, little thing we about to do. And she like, uh, Honesta, like, wait a minute. This is it right here? A living room? I ain't investing in no living room. He like, uh, no, but you ain't investing in no living room. This is the lion's family. And then uh, Cookie like, sit down. Uh, you, you sitting there eating all the damn uh, shrimp. You better sit down and enjoy the music. And uh, start to save some shrimp for everybody else, Aunt Esther. And uh, she's like, besides, everybody about to have a good time and listen to the music. So Aunt Esther reluctantly sat her ass down. And then uh, Lucia's like, hey, it's okay. We're going to have the music. It's going to be great. And so then he go back over to Cookie. They smile. And Aunt Esther, she ready to smile. Then he uh, tell them, uh, come on now, hit it. So Jamal, he like, come on, Prince Hakeem, it's your time, let's go, get ready. And so uh, Hakeem, he started walking back and forth, No Neck Johnson, Wheezy, they all ready, they looking. He started rapping, he flowing, he got his little new new style going, so it's working. Uh, Jamal backing him up uh, on Esther, Wheezy. Jefferson, she dancing. You see, uh, Becky, she working her little, uh, her little curtain together. And uh, Wheezy, she was happy. They like, yeah, everybody clapping. It was all good. Becky, she got her little curtain together. She happy. So when it's all over, you see Lucius and Cookie. They celebrating. They hug. And Lucius like, we did it. We back. Yeah, they told me I couldn't run this company. They told me I couldn't do this and that. I took it to Wall Street. They told me I couldn't do this. I did all that. Cookie like, you mean we? He like, well, yeah, baby. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Yeah, we. Of course. And so uh, Cookie left to go and uh, do some stuff when Becky was walking in. He like, Becky, what's up? She like, how you like that? She like, well, I do have to say I am rather impressed. You did good. That was great. And he like, yeah, Becky, so when you coming back, I need you over here by my side. When you quitting? She like, uh, I'm not quitting. What are you talking about? He like, what? What do you mean? How you gonna be loyal to me and loyal to Kingsley? He my enemy. You need to be loyal to me. She like, Kingsley's about to promote me. I'm not about to quit my job. Uh, you guys, uh, you only gave me one little promotion, one job, and you never promoted me, and I'm supposed to be loyal. He's like, yes, that's what loyalty means. Undying, unflinching. And at the time, Cookie is watching him chew Becky out, and she's starting to feel some kind of way because usually Becky is doing all the chewing. But this time, Lucius was doing the chewing, chewing her out, and he had a mouthful. And so he was telling her how she wasn't basically nothing for not being loyal and she like what he like yes if you're not gonna be loyal to me what are you doing in my house and she like i'm leaving obviously and so uh she left and lucius mad and it left cookie feeling some kind of way about how he treated becky so she's sitting there thinking later on in the in the kitchen and uh you see vivica uh asking her what's going on and she like everything cool she like yeah i was just wondering did you sell that place yet? She like, no, not yet. Um, what's going on? Something, everything all right with you and Lucia? She like, yeah, girl, you know we ride or die. I'm just saying, you know, it appreciates. You never know. So um, just take it off the market and, uh, you know, I'll just keep it and we'll see. She like, mm-hmm. So they know something is up. Meanwhile, we see Jamal talking with Kingsley and he playing the music and uh 
Kingsley is listening to the music. He liking it. He like, oh, okay, that's great, Jamal. Good. Okay, we'll get this done. And uh, you know, what is the release dates and stuff? And he started talking to him. He like, yeah, that's fine. But before we do, you gonna have to cut a lot of checks for lions. He like, why is that? He said, cause on every song, it's got a lion on it, some type of sample, some kind of way, whatever. And so um, you're gonna have to start paying the family. He like, well, samples can be removed. I can strip those out. He like, uh, no, not with my music. Read the contract. I got full creative control. So before we get started, you're gonna have to start paying my family some money. And so uh, he walks off, and Kingsley's upset. So he calls and uh, gets uh, his uh, secretary to call somebody in prison for him. Meanwhile, we see Andre, and he's sitting in prison uh, in the uh, hole, and then his boy came. He like, so what's up, man? You want me to do it? He like, go ahead, handle that. So now Andre is shot caller. And so uh, we see uh, Andre, and uh, he's walking in there to go see a visitor, and we see uh, Baby Nuts, his eye swole. He got swoliosis on his eye, and his mama is looking like, oh, baby, I'm sorry. I wish I could protect you in here. I'm tired of these people. And he kind of got his head down all sorry and shy, and she like, uh, this ain't right. And so uh, Andre see it. He tried to give him a pop to put on his eye. She like, uh, thank you, but we don't want nothing from you. And uh, Andre like, I'm just trying to help. I ain't trying to hurt. And uh, he saw Andre with his good eye. And uh, Andre was like, man, sorry about that. And uh, then we see uh, uh, Lulu come in. And so he go and shake up with Lulu, give him a hug or whatever. And uh, meanwhile, old boy mama say, don't mess with them people. And so Andre, he talking with Lucius, and he like, yeah, um, he like, I'm sorry you in here. He like, this been good for me. Lucius like, explain that. And he like, well, you sent me to Warden to learn the school of business. Now I'm in here to learn how the streets work. And when I get out, I'm be best. I know how to move calculated and everything. And Lucius is just looking like, oh, my goodness. And so uh, we see Andre back in the cell uh, when he was thinking about when he told old boy to take care of that business. And so uh, his little goon squad went on ahead and went to work while Andre was in the in the hole for alibi. And so we see uh, little Debo Jr. He was messing with young baby nuts and he was threatening him, talking about look the other way. Don't look over here. And we see uh, uh, Officer Bob ain't doing nothing and so he was about to go beat up dude again and then he got uh, hemmed up in the 211 by the by the goon squad on the block and uh, they grabbed him. Officer Bob looked the other way. I guess he didn't got paid off by Andre and the crew and uh, while they did that they just started beating the hell out of dude and then they pulled out the shanks the pig stickers and then they started poking him real good let out a little blood. Um, he started leaking, soaking wet and so uh, he was on the floor shaking like a salt shaker and he was about to die and uh, right when they was hanging on for his last little breath uh, we see Andre's number one goon come up in front of him and then he jab him real good with the uh, shank and uh, he leaking red like the Kool-Aid man and uh, he about to be dead and uh, little, little baby nuts saw dude get killed right before his eyes basically because he kept on messing with him and so uh, that kind of put the fear in baby nuts because dude was laid out on the floor leaking and baby nuts was like oh man my goodness, I'm in trouble. And so, uh, meanwhile, back in the city, we see at the park, we see uh, young Hanks, young Hanky Panky. Um, he reading, he going over the raps that uh, Hakeem gave him. He getting the flow together or whatever. And uh, then we see Tiana, she hear him and she like, damn, that's tight. Is that about the accident? That's dope. I didn't, I wish Hakeem could uh, flow like that and get it out. And uh, dude, he like, uh... Yeah, um, he should have just said this Hakeem's lyrics, but he didn't. And so uh, she like, uh, yeah, so, um, you know, that's cool. And uh, he's trying to be cool and, and not say it was Hakeem's, but he ain't standing up. And so she like, um, you know, um, about ready to go. You want to come back? We go and make something to eat or whatever and cook. He like, you can cook. She like, no, nah, I got people prepared for me. I really can't cook. He like, oh, well, I could throw down some. I've been wanting to cook with a little brown sugar for a while. And so uh, basically he want to cook with her. He want to cook with some of that brown sugar, get some of that good good and try to marinate his meat in Hakeem's crock pot. Meanwhile, we see Kingsley and he's on the jail and then she's like, yeah, prisoner be here shortly. 
And so, uh, meanwhile, we see Andre, and he's waiting. They like, yeah, you got a visitor. And so, uh, Officer Bob telling Andre he got a visitor. He like, what? A visitor? He like, yeah, we got a visitor for you. And so, Andre, he getting it together. He getting ready to walk to see who his visitor is. And uh, we all expecting it to be Kingsley, but it's Baby Nuts and Mama, and she's a cutie. And so she like, uh, yeah. He like, oh, I'm sorry. I I, I didn't I didn't know. I think you got the wrong person. She's like, no, I wanted to see you. Baby Nuts told me what you did for him, and I just want to thank you. And he like, what? I didn't do anything. She like, he told me what you did to help him. Why'd you help him? He like, I never said I did. She like, and then she grabbed his hands and was looking him in the eyes. He ain't had nobody touch him and look him in the eyes in a while. And she like, uh, you're good, Andre. You're good. And he was like, oh, I don't know about that. She like, no, you are good. And she started giving him the look like it's time for a conjugal visit. And so uh, meanwhile, we see Kingsley and uh, he's going to see who he going to see. And of course, lo and behold, is Diana Dubois, a.k.a. Cosby wife. And so uh, he like, uh, yes, how you doing? And she like, uh, I didn't know uh, I had any people who come see me. I didn't know I was so popular. How you doing? They like, oh, well, you know, um, I was just coming to see you. They, This old Latin saying or whatever. She like, oh, okay. A lot of people didn't know about that saying. Uh, I'm surprised. He like, yeah, it's actually from ancient Sanskrit or whatever. She like, oh, okay, yeah. So what do I owe you the pleasure? And he like, yeah, Lucius Lyon. Um, I just want to talk to you about him, uh, such and such. She like, oh, yeah, um, you just mad because he embarrassed you and you you trying to get some payback. Isn't that right? He like, uh, yeah. And so uh, it pretty much end with him talking to her trying to get the inside scoop maybe get a little dirt on Lucius so he could try to get the upper hand and get some payback because he's still salty about how Lucius embarrassed him at that opening at uh at the uh when he was trying to introduce him to work for Empire and so it'll be interesting to see how much she really can help him especially since she was beaten by the lion so how could she really help him when she was beat so we'll see in the meantime, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for uh, all the support, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.